हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम पुष्कर मास्टर टीचर केमिस्ट्री एट वेदांतो आई एम डिस्कसिंग फ्यू प्रॉब्लम्स इन जे एडवांस 2020 केमिस्ट्री पेपर 2 लेट्स सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम क्वेश्चन नंबर 13 न्यूमेरिक टाइप अ सॉल्यूशन ऑफ 0.1 मोलर वीक बेस इज टाइट्रेटेड विद 0.1 मोलर स्ट्रांग एसिड एचए ड्यूरिंग दिस टाइट्रेशन द वेरिएशन ऑफ पीएच इज शोन इन अ ग्राफ एज यू कैन सी on the graph you can see the volume of ha on the x axis and the ph on the y axis volume of ha ha is a strong acid and what is asked the pkb of the base now the graph is giving you the information and everything you have to read from the graph as you can see the graph so in the graph you will find that the graph is initially like this then it is getting straightened up and then it is going like this so meaning of this is straight line is that the titration is complete at this point and if you check this point this is coming at the volume of 6 ml the volume of 6 ml so the 6 ml is the equivalence point 6 ml is the equivalence point and if 6 ml is the equivalence point the half way that is 3 ml must be half equivalence point so that is a typical titration curve so on the graph if you see add the 3 ml if you just take this line here and join it on the y axis what you will find 11 that means this is the ph is 11 when 3 ml of strong acid was added the meaning of this is the meaning of this is that ph at half equivalence point is equal to 11 now from this information you have to get the pkb of the base can you do it yes so the fund of this problem is how to approach this problem You can approach this problem by using Henderson equation for buffer. And Henderson equations are pH is equals to pKa plus log acid in the denominator and the conjugate base in the numerator. Or pOH is equals to p kb plus log base in the denominator and conjugate acid in the numerator so now choice is yours which equation you would like to use since the graph is against ph versus volume of ha it makes sense that we can use the first equation it makes sense that we can use the first equation but if we are quite accustomed to solving the problem for the basic buffer so called basic buffers or the titration of base for this one then you should take the second second equation so let me solve it by both methods and choice is yours so what method you like more so let us solve it by first method so the basic equation is b base is treated with h plus ion strong acid It is getting converted into BH plus, so this BH plus is this BH plus is you know uh, conjugate acid, and this is base. Okay, using the first equation, BH is equals to PKA. Of course, PKA of BH plus plus log of. Since we are talking about the pH, then Henderson equation in the denominator you have. in the denominator you have the acid and acid is the concentration of bh plus and the salt is the concentration of b at the half equivalence point however these the concentrations are equal and log 1 is equals to 0 so of course this term will vanish because this is equals to what 0 and you will get ph is equals to pk a of bh plus that is conjugate acid of uh, base and you can learn from the graph that ph is equals to 11 so we got pka of bh plus is equals to 
and this gives us p k b of b is equals to 3 using the relation p k a of an asset plus p k b of the conjugate base is equals to 14. So using this relation we can justify this method and let's call this method number 1 using the Henderson equation for an asset. Now let us solve it by Henderson equation by a base. So in this case we will write p o h is equals to p k b plus log in the denominator we will write the base which is b and in the numerator we will write b h plus and eventually this term is going to be what 0 because bh plus is equals to b at the half equivalence point so this term is ultimately going to be what 0 then you are going to get poh is equals to pkb but now to get the value of pkb we need poh at the half equivalence point and we can get it from this formula ph plus poh is equals to 14 since ph was 11 at half equivalence point so 11 plus poh is equals to 14 and that gives poh is equals to 3 substituting in this equation we get pkb is equal to 3 so by both methods you are going to get the same answer of course so i think this question is going to give you i mean the way i have solved it is also going to give you clarify your doubts as well as to give you a concept that you can use henderson equation one single henderson equation for calculating or estimating ph of weak asset weak uh, weak base uh, weak asset buffer as well as weak base buffer so i hope that you like this solution you enjoyed this solution and for details of solutions you can also have these slides with you. Thanks for watching and for more detailed account of these solutions, log in to the Dantu portal. Thank you for watching.